what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a woman named Mary, and she has an incredible story to tell about Donald Trump, your president and all of his dirty, low-down, stanky, deplorable ways. She says she's heard Trumpy use the N-word and anti-Semitic slurs. Hmm. Is anyone surprised? She said that growing up, she heard it many times. In fact, she said her whole family, this is what they did. Freddie Trump, the daddy, patriot, he's the one. And the mama, Mary. She said he got it honestly. He was raised, it's in his blood. She's not surprised, she says, when she hear him saying divisive things and racist things. She said that whole thing where he was having little kids on the southern border, ripped away from their parents. She said it didn't surprise him at all. She said, uh, her at all. She said, that's what he do. He's a divisive person. He gets off to it. The dude is a psycho. He's seriously sick in the head, fam. What's scary is that there's so many more of him out there. There's millions, family. Good God. Ooh, man. That book is called Too Much and Never Enough. How My Family Created the World's Most Dangerous Man. Amply titled, perfect title. This thieving, no good for nothing, rotten scoundrel continues to rape, rob, and pillage the American people daily. Can you imagine after he get out of office years later, all of the things that are going to be discovered that he did, that he used his executive powers to, to gain for himself, period. That is the only reason why he became president. Well, also to feed, feed his ego. That's the reason why he ran. He never thought he was going to make it. I don't think he ever thought he was going to make it. And then when he started colluding with the Russians, he probably was like, man, he's so used to cheating and stealing. He was like, Okay, you know, okay, I'm down, I'm down. Y'all gonna make me president? Okay, I'm down. But I don't think he ever thought that he could still just, he could actually win. But the colluding thing where, keep in mind, family, he didn't get voted in. They definitely hijacked the election. It was definitely stolen. This is what is scary about the whole process. They do it once, they can do it again. In fact, they had already did it once. That's why they did it again. Yeah, this dude, I'm not surprised that his niece is calling him a racist. She knows him. She grew up around him. Her daddy is his brother, Fred, the oldest one, the one who died. I think he was like 40 something when he died. Uh, what did he die of? Uh, I think some type of, uh, I think some type of uh, lung disease or something attributed to you know, alcoholism. That's what it was. Her father was a drunk. Can you, can you really help it? I mean, you got Freddie and Mary as your parents. Can you really help? And, and your brother is Donald Trump. Come on, man. You know, you, you know, you can't expect too much from a, from a family like that, bro. You can't expect somebody to be wrapped too tight. Can't expect for someone to even want to live. 
I mean, I'm talking about good people. I ain't talking about the riding scoundrel. I'm talking about the good people. Can't expect a good person to want to live within that type of family structure. And to look at Donald Trump every day as your brother, oh man, if he was my brother, I probably would have done something to him. Yeah. Donald Trump used the N-word. Who's surprised by a show of hands? Yeah, Mary. Most of us with healthy minds already know that your uncle is a racist. He's never tried to hide his true feelings. His supporters follow him for many reasons. That's a big one. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>